Well, we finally made an online core class. Uh, when we did the first three videos, I know our core exercise group was a little mad about that. And now I'm here. So let's get to it. Let's lay down as always. No weights today. Just laying down here for a half hour. Showing Scott this is actually what we do in class. We just lay here. Sway the knee side to side. And today's Thursday, so I didn't actually get to do core today. Drop those knees over to one side. That's gonna have Emily guest star, but she said it's too difficult. Over to the left. And it's actually the day after Valentine's Day, so hopefully you all had a good one. Coming out of this, bring those bottoms of the feet together, opening up the hips. Hopefully you uh, yeah, had a good Valentine's. We just stayed in and cooked. Well, I told you that so many times already in classes. But this food turned out pretty good. Coming out of this, from here, let's bring that right knee up, pulling on that knee, grabbing either onto the shin or behind. Well, this was the one class where I'm like, it's gonna be really interesting seeing if, you know, you're like doing this while like staring, trying to like figure out what I'm doing. So definitely gonna try to explain the movements a lot more than usual. Bending the left, pulling that left shin up. Today won't be too bad of a day though. That's what I always say in class and it's always a bad day. No, it's always fun. Coming out of this, won't be anything that we haven't done before. And we're actually gonna include a little break throughout. So, feet close to you, heels close to you, driving through those heels, lifting up into our first bridge hold of the day. Just holding, getting those hips as high as you want. Also, first of many today, so hold it here. Lowering those hips back down onto the ground. Pushing that lower back into the ground. Feet are gonna stay on for a little bit. Again, just imagine pressing that belly button into the mat. You can actually physically push too if it makes it a little bit easier for a cue. Now we're gonna lift the legs off into our first leg hold. Legs are bent, knees over hips. And hold it here. This is it, Scott. This is all we do for the rest of class. No. That'd be quite the video though. Extending that right leg out, right heel close to the ground. If you want to modify this one, you can drop that right heel onto the ground. But if you want to make it harder, keep that right heel off. Switching sides, right leg back to a leg hold, left leg extended, left heel close to the ground. Back to a leg hold. Drop the feet, bridge hold. Just a tiny warm up today. We are, I feel like we're almost usually 10 minutes of that. Coming down here, we're actually gonna go right into another stretch. Bringing those feet wide onto your mat. So the right foot's on the right side of the mat, left foot's on the left side. Drop those knees again over to the right. And hold. All stretches we've done before. Just hold it. Over to the left. And hold. Back to center here. 
Okay, going into a nice bridge sequence here, driving through those heels, legs are bent, up into a bridge hold, getting those hips as high as you want. Keeping those legs, keeping those quads where they are, straightening out one leg into that bridge kick. Keeping those hips off the ground as we kick, as we kick. Keep it going, keep kicking, keep kicking. Don't imagine kicking me, it would not be good. Back to a bridge hold, getting those hips nice and high. Hold that bridge, keep holding. Coming down here, up into a bridge, knees wide together, down, up, wide, together, down, come up in that bridge, wide, together, down, up, wide, together, down, up, wide, together, down, two more, up, wide, together, down, and last one, wide, together, down. Press that lower back into the ground, into another leg hold. Keeping those legs bent, heels tap the ground and back up. Tap back to a leg hold. Keep those legs bent, drop the heels, come back up. If you want to make it a little bit easier, take a little bit longer on that break, come back up. If you want to make it harder, Keep those heels off the ground and just rock forward and back. Three, two, relax here. <sighs> and then we just lay here, Scott, for the rest of it. Now we come back up into a leg hold, everybody. So lower back, hips on the mat, legs are bent. Knees over hips. From here, we're gonna bring our legs slightly to the right. As you do this one, your hip might come off the mat and that's okay. And if it doesn't, that's okay. You could just do a tiny turn like so. Coming back to center, over to the left. And back over to the right. Hopefully we're getting some flattering angles. I can't imagine this is the most flattering thing to look at. Over to the left. But I think I'm just in general, probably not the most flattering person to look at, so that could help. Or the opposite. And back here. Okay. From here, I wanna go back into a mini bridge sequence. So, getting those heels nice and close. Driving through the heels, up into a bridge hold. For this one, you're going to do a heel tap alternating. So, I'm going to straighten out my left leg, left heel taps, back to a bridge hold. Keep that bridge hold, right heel taps, hips off the ground, and back. So you're in a bridge hold, but you're just straightening out one leg, tapping that heel onto the ground and back. Just heel tap and back. Straightening out that leg, heel taps, alternating here. This is a tough one. We haven't done this one for a long time. Back in my 20s. Three, two, relax here. Oof, that is a good one though. If Mel is here in class today, we're gonna to do Mel's favorite next. So this one is another leg hold. So again, for those leg holds, push that lower back into the ground. Lift the legs up, straighten out both legs, heels close to the ground, wide up together, wide down together. Wide up together, wide down together. 
wide up together, wide down together. Mel, you're probably having a great time doing this exercise. You're probably like, I can't believe we have to do this on the video. Wide up together, wide down together, wide up together, wide down together. Keep it going. Three, two, and relax. Whew. Oh, that's a tough one. Bring those bottoms of the feet together. Open up those hips. I did think it'd be a little cruel to include this one in the video because that's a tough movement. But it's so much fun. Now with the videos too, I think uh, there's times Emily and I do workout videos together and I'm like, we should do this one. And then it's just a video of me and surprise her with it. Coming out of this here, heels on the ground. I'm gonna bring the right leg off, bring that right knee to chest, return that right heel to the ground. Just that active stretch we do. So we're lifting one leg, bending it, knee to chest, return that heel to the ground. Active hip flexor stretch here. Same thing, but now we're gonna straighten out those legs, bring them up and down. Up as high as you want. Just an active stretch. Definitely a workout still. I'm definitely feeling this, but a little bit more. Three, two, relax. Return those feet back onto the mat. Driving through those heels up into a bridge again. From here, we're gonna go into a bridge march. So lifting one leg off the mat. You can do a tiny march, you can do a big one. Make sure we're keeping those hips nice and high. Keep marching. If it ever gets too challenging, just do that standard bridge hold. Up and down. Three, two, relax here. Push that lower back into the ground. Legs up into a leg hold, hands over shoulders. Straightening out the left arm and left leg, heel close to the ground, hand overhead. Switching sides. Switching sides. Switch again. And again. And one more time. Three, two, relax here. Okay, back to another leg hold, but we're gonna just keep those feet on the ground for a little bit longer. Press that lower back into the ground. Imagine pressing that belly button into the mat. Keep those fleet feet on the mat. Just practicing this again. Coming up into that leg hold. Keep holding here. We're gonna strain out those legs. Heels tap the ground. Heels come back up. And then you bend the legs back into that leg hold. Strain the legs out. Heels tap. Heels come up. Bend the legs into that leg hold. Strain the legs out. Heels tap. Heels come up. Leg hold. Strain them out. Heels tap. Up. Leg hold. Keep it going. 
I think this is also becoming a personal favorite of mine. So we can do this one in class a lot more. Keep it going. Straighten them out. Heel tap. Back to that leg hold. Three. Two. And relax here. Sway the knee side to side again. Whew. Feeling it today. Since it's a Thursday, I did my other classes, so I feel like I just did like the marathon of what I do in a week. Five classes. Three, two, relax here. We're gonna straighten out the left heel, left leg, so left heel is on the ground. Bring that right leg to a leg hold. Taking our left hand, pulling it over to the left side of us. Keeping both shoulders on the ground, you can gently pull on that leg or just let it hang out in space. Whatever you're feeling. Keep holding. We did a hot yoga class yesterday, Emily and I. Oh, the lights came off for this one too. So we did a hot yoga class. Coming out of this here, switching legs, left leg up, pulling it over to the right and hold, keeping both shoulders on the ground. And I'm like, maybe, maybe we need to get that at Uptown Social for phase two, get a hot gym. And there was light. coming out of this here. Okay, we have a slightly longer sequence. Usually at this part in class there's applause because it's longer and harder, so. No, I know I'm just joshing. And that no one laughed at, just joshing. Press that lower back into the ground, lifting those legs up into that leg hold. From here, gently swing side to side keeping those legs off the mat. Just that gentle sway. Over to the right and left. We gotta give a big thank you to Scott for allowing us to make these videos, taking time out of his day to do this. We appreciate Scott, so whenever you see Scott, Thank him, and if you're like, Josh, I don't know what he looks like. Back to center with that leg hold. Straighten up the right leg. He's at major events in Sheboygan. The North First South Games. Maybe, maybe is he, he might be there sometimes, depending. Switching legs. But. Switching legs again. Again, really remember keeping that lower back on the mat. No push-ups today also. Switch again. Back to a leg hold. Bringing the feet down. Bridge hold. Do the heel taps again as we tap. People are noticing that we're filming in here. Oh no. They're like, what does Scott, why is he here? Three, two, keep those heel taps going in the bridge. Relax here. Okay, time for the really long sequence. We gotta do this for 10 minutes. No, not 10 minutes, but I believe it is at least three. Push that lower back into the ground, feet planted. Again, just practice this. It doesn't look like anything on video probably, but it is. Lift those legs up into that leg hold again. 
Just practicing this form. We're gonna be here for a little longer. Straighten out both legs, heels close to the ground, and hold it. Again, probably doesn't look like a whole lot. Bend the legs back to a leg hold. Keep holding. They seem like they take forever when you're making a video. Straighten them out. Back to a leg hold. Bridge is, so we're not doing a bridge hold. Drop those hips onto the ground, driving through the heels, lift them off. Up and down, up and down. Really good if you have low back issues. Keep going up and down. Driving through those heels up and back down. Up and down, three, two. Leg hold again, push that lower back into the ground. Lift the legs up into a leg hold. Strain out the legs again. We're gonna do heel taps here. So keep those one heel off the ground. Tap one heel on and off. Heel taps, but now your legs are at that starting position with the heels being off the ground. Just heel taps. Keep those legs up in the air. Keep it going. We're gonna be here for a little bit longer. I wish this clock was going a little faster. That's a tough one. Three, two, Back to a leg hold, feet down, bridge hold, bridge kicks. So extend that leg, place that foot back down. Kick and down, kick and down. Keep kicking, keep kicking. We're almost there today. About 10 more, 50 more exercises, then we get to stretch. Three, two, relax here. Okay. This one, another one of Mel's favorites. So Mel, if you're here, you're here. You're definitely here, unless it's a Friday or you got new dogs coming in. Press that lower back into the ground. Leg hold, strain up the legs. Flutter kicks, so just tiny kicks, keeping your feet off the ground. Keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking. Keep the kicking going. For this one, if you're still kicking, good job. Keep kicking. Three to relax. Whew. Nicely done on that one. That's a, oh, that's tough. That's a tough one. Let's return those feet back onto the mat. Okay. Last leg hold sequence of the day. Unless you're gonna do it later tonight, I don't know. Press that lower back into the ground. Leg hold, keep pressing that lower back into the ground. Straighten out the legs, heels close to the ground. Bring one leg up as high as you can. Hold it, keep holding, keep holding. Switching legs, keep holding. I wonder if there's a way Scott can edit this where you just see, say keep holding and switching and it just goes on for like five hours. Switch again. That would be something. Keep holding and switch. 
You can probably see my leg shaking. Switch again. Keep holding, almost there. Switch again. Keep holding. And three, two, relax. Oof. Oh, we did it. I think we got a stretch after that. That's a, that was a doozy today. Wow. Okay. Let's bring that right foot onto the left knee. Pulling that right knee in, giving it a hug. Whew. <clears throat> That was fun. That was fun. Push that right leg away, opening up that hip. And breathe. Switching signs here, left foot on the right knee. Give that left. Leg a hug. Push that right leg away from you, opening up that hip. And hold. Coming out of this. Let's bring that right leg up, reaching behind our right leg with our hands, kicking that right leg up and down, up and down. At your own pace, you can add that ankle pump if you want. And switching here, other leg up. Interlace those fingers, kicking it up and down. Feeling it on this side a lot today. Oh, there's a crack in the knee too. Keep kicking, but the nice kicks. And three, two, Relax here. Okay, we're gonna go back to that active hip flexor stretch, straightening out the legs, heels on the ground. Bending that leg, right knee to chest, drop that right heel down, bend the left, left knee to chest. And just march in, knee to chest. Doing a few more here. And three, two, relax here. Okay, one more time, bring the bottoms of the feet together, opening up the hips. Ah, just lay, relax. Think about how much fun you just had. Think about what's for lunch. For me, it's what's for dinner. Lunch was stir fry. Coming on up here. I think I actually have sushi tonight, so it'll be grocery store sushi. Left leg in, right leg out. Lean forward and that reach if you want for those toes. Switching here, left leg extended, right foot close, add that reach if you want. This side's not too bad to reach for. Three, two, relax here, let's 
skull, left ear, left shoulder. Just a nice neck stretch. One of my favorites. Right ear, right shoulder. Stretching that neck out. Coming out of this and finish today with a hug. Good job today. <laughs>